it now. Yeah, keep doing, yeah, keep feeding the cappy. Yeah, it's real nice. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and take this little guy to the IRS office because he's in a little bit of trouble, huh, Gord? Love you, boy. Keep it up, sport. Let's get out of here, you little troublemaker. Okay, it's time for this little fella here to pay his taxes. <laughs> See you guys. <laughs> Sadly, Uncle Ben took a few more Benadryl than he should have for his allergies. And it didn't help that Gort was trying to eat the stick shift like an apple. Thankfully, though, Gort was actually the only one that was hurt, injured, or died in this accident. Yeah, we're good. We got all of this rolling. Get out of there now, dude. Get out of there. It's not worth that. Yeah, I guess you could say old Uncle Ben learned his lesson today about the, his limitations when it comes to over-the-counter yes. allergy medications. Dude, that's a Ferrari, dude. That was a running Ferrari. Thankfully, Big Ounce just graduated the fire academy, and here he is putting out the flames. He sure is a jack of all trades. And obviously, my intern was a little upset that I wrecked his car and their rental van, but, but I just said to him, there's no use crying over spilled milk when there's good old copper wire to harvest. What do we have in here? Don't mind if I do. And thankfully, I brought all my herping spotlights, and we were able to find a treasure trove of little salvageables. Stop drinking the evidence. I'm thirsty. It's so gross, dude. I'm thirsty. Shut up. But thankfully, our intern was able to ship the rest of the parts of his dad's Ferrari back up to where he's from, which I think was New York. Sadly, I did have to drive our interns up to Dallas that night, because the next day they had to drive the young man who's going to fight my son to baby and uh, to a concert or something like that.